And I see you like pointy shoulders. I have pointy shoulders too. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Mastermind Creations Nitro. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Nitro. Her name is Nitro. She is a racer. On this side of the box, Nitro. 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 Warning! Warning! Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. On the back of the box we have your obligatory product shots. You can stand and stand and be a car and be a car and stand some more and she can run. Hooray for running! Yay! And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with another image there of Nitro. And on the back you have the text packs if that interests you. Hooray for cards! Then moving right along here, we have Nitro, a.k.a. Nitro Convoy, a.k.a. Override, depending on what version of the show you watched. And she is a recolor remold of uh, their Rodimus, but um, it works. It, it, it works for her, I think, anyway. I think it works for her. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice gold paint right up front there, trimmed in a nice dark gray. You got trans clearance red wheels there which look quite cool when the light hits in the right way got some gold for those exhaust pipes nice gold going across the top got some nice pink here transclear and pink plastic there for the cockpit section and just some nice details going on there there's the back back wheels underside she rolls as rolling things should hooray for rolling and there you have that done for comparison. Here it is with Mastermind Creations Stray, aka Drift. Here she is with Mastermind's Rodimus. Yes, you can see here what's been remolded, what's been kept the same between the two versions of the mold. So there you have that. And here she is with the original Cybertron. Override, and like I said, I think this mold, I think this mold works for her because you know it, it looks like you know futuristic Cybertronian racing vehicle, just like the original did. So yeah, hey, works for me anyway. Works for me. Now, as far as accessories go, Nitro does include her gun, which is just a remold of uh, Rodimus's gun. You can see the back part is the same mold, but the uh, barrels are different. <laughs> You can see the gun done in gold and that dark gray, and the barrels are done in white and red. And you can store the gun on top of the vehicle mode right there on that port. So she can pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang, as she is racing along. So, there you have that. So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's, uh, let's remove the gun, put that off the side. On get started. So if you own Mastermind Rodimus, you already know how this is going to go because she transforms exactly the same. So first thing we're going to do is come down here to what will be her feet and just bring them down like so. Bring those down and that will free up the arms to pull out like that. Once you do that, we can take this whole front assembly here and just extend it like so. I can now take this section here, which tabs in right here again, just like on Rodimus. It takes a little bit of doing to get that tab undone. This side's always a little bit harder to get undone. Come on, man. Come on. There you go. So get those undone. Let's get that up and out of the way. Split the legs. Already did it for me. Thank you. She's so cooperative. So once we've done that, now we can start working on the legs. So you just come under here, bring out this panel, bring out this panel, untab the leg here from the side, swing that down, bring that down. That'll just tab in right there like so. Bring that down, bring the foot up, bring the heel out. Now the instructions, just like with their Rodimus, the instructions tell you to take the foot and slide it back. 
like that. That is the official transformation, but that greatly hinders the ankle tilt, which I don't particularly like. So I leave it forward. And you want to make sure you bring it all the way forward till it clicks. Because if that's not clicked, nothing will line up in, uh, in vehicle mode. And when you leave it in that position, you get way more use out of that ankle tilt there. So I leave the feet forward. As always, your toy, do whatever you want with it. That's just what I do with mine. So we have that done. Second verse, same as the first. So let's bring those panels up, bring that around, bring that down, bring the foot up, heel, bring that down. And there we have the legs all done. So now we just want to come to this section here and just rotate this around to the front like so. Once we do that, I need to raise up. So bring this section down, which will reveal the head. And just bring the head forward, this section here. Bring that down. You can now bring that back up. And then you take these sections right here, just bring them down. And this whole assembly will come up and there is a post and a port right in there. So just plug all that in, nice and secure-like. And once you do that, you take these armatures here and just bring them up. You have to unplug them there, now you go bring them up. And you have a little tab, a little slot right in there. So just line that up and tab that in like so. Why don't you want to cooperate? You cooperate. There you go. Oops. <laughs> and just like on Rodimus, these things love to fall off. So I'm probably going to put a little dab of glue there to keep those on. Anyway, once you do that, bring the other one up, tab that in. There you go. Then you just bring the arms down, collapse the shoulders up, like so. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Whee! We're done. And there you have Nitro in her robot mode. And she looks good. I, I, you know, like I said earlier, I think this mold definitely works for her. Works for her. In my, in my opinion, anyway, I think this mold definitely works for her. I like it. I like it. I like it. So let's get in close here. No eyes up here. There we go. Let's get on. Get in close here. On oh, that head sculpt. Nicely done head sculpt. That's some nice gold there on the side. Blue for the eyes. Very nicely done. In my opinion. Got that nice gold paint there on the shoulders. Got some gold trim there on the forearms. Overall, good looking bot in my opinion. Good looking bot. Got that nice gold there on her feet. On the back, good. It's a very clean transformation. I dig it. I dig it. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get that wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Uh, the neck can also shift forward and back if you needed to. You can look up, you can look down a little bit. Uh, the head can only rotate that far before the collar gets in the way. Arms can do a full 360, although you do have to clear this stuff, which will probably fall out. <laughs> but arms can do a full 360, can go in and out. Of course, you can use all these joints to get as much range of movement as you need. You do have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. You also do have forearm rotation if you need it. The wrists are on a ball joint, so they can wiggly waggly as well. Hands can open and close. And the index finger is a separate piece there you do have waist rotation legs can go forward that far back that far outward almost do the full splits you got thigh rotation a little bit over 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet can move up they can move down a lot due to transformation and you have that ankle tiltage there and the heel spur can move to help you support any poses you might want to put her in. And of course you can give her her weapon um, if you want to store it. You still have that port right back here. So you can just plug it there for storage if you wish. But let's have her holding her gun. 
She holds that very securely. So there she goes. She can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang. There you go. So there you have that. And now for comparison, here she is with Mastermind's Stray. You stand. So you can see how well, they look together. Here she is with Mastermind Rodimus. So you can see what they remolded, what they kept the same. I'll just give you a little, uh, little turn around here. There's the box. And there you go. And here she is with Make Toys Cybertron Starscream. As you can see, how she scales there with Screamer. And here she is with the original Cybertron Override. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a, uh, that's definitely definitely a nice upgrade there. Yeah, that looks looks way better. Way 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 better. So there you go. So there you have Mastermind Creations Nitro, another very well done figure from Mastermind in my opinion. You know, as I said earlier in the video, I think this mold definitely works for her. I think it looks good. She wears it well. She wears it very well in my opinion. So if you like the Rodimus, you're probably going to like this figure, unless you just have no attachment to that character, which is a whole different story. But all in all, though, it's a very well done figure. As you can see, just by the pose I have her in, um, all the joints are nice and snug, so she can definitely hold the pose very well. Fun to mess with, really good quality, no complaints on my end. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Mastermind Creations other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Mastermind Creations Nitro, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Hey, hey, Override, how about this? Since you like racing so much, how about we race from there to... Um... Okay, uh, uh, best two out of three. Uh, huh. Well, how about I race you to there and back? What? You're not even letting me say go! I don't want to play anymore.